about that. <laughs> like, was, was, was that something you guys discussed as, uh, as you were a member of the Celtics? Uh, no, we, you know, um, you know, sexual orientation never came up uh, in the locker room. Um, I spend a lot of time with Jason Collins. He's a great guy, great locker room guy, great team guy. He knows his role. He's a veteran. Um, so I know the turmoil that he probably was going through and holding that in. I held a lot in myself with being molested as a youth. And so I know the turmoil that I felt. So I'm glad he, you know, took that step. And, you know, I know he feels liberated for doing it. And I hope, you know, I wish him the best. And I hope that, you know, NBA guys can get past sexual orientation, any, you know, all that, all that BS. You know, at the end of the day, he's a good guy. He's a hard worker. He's a good basketball player. And that's what he should be judged for, and that's what he should be known for. And I'm sure you're kind of proud, too, because you've taken your situation and used it as a platform, and here's another platform uh, for Yeah, him. well, I mean, every, every individual has their own battle, has their own issues, their mm -hmm. own, you know, uh, calling to kind of find. And, you know, for Jason, that, you know, that he felt it was the right time, the right place, the right situation. He felt comfortable enough in his skin. Um, at the end of the day, man, I did a lot of work in the community with him. He's a great guy in the community. He's a great teammate, a great locker room guy. Yeah. And so at the end of the day, his sexual orientation yeah. doesn't matter to me. As a guy who's been interested in player development uh, on Twitter, it seems like most players are very supportive, very encouraging. So are you not surprised by that? No, man. I mean, man, we this is a brotherhood. You know, mm -hmm. it's a small fraternity of NBA ball players, and we all go through different challenges. We all come from different backgrounds, different settings, different countries different religions, different races, et cetera, you know, and this is just another testament to David Stern and the work that he's done in our NBA because we're a brotherhood, and at the end of the day, if one of our brothers go through something, we want to be there to support him.